Hi, and welcome to Soha School of Healing Arts, where I will help you deepen your practice, polish your teaching skills, and create a happy, healthy, and wealthy life. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Daniela Mandala, and I'll be your host today for this beautiful episode on um, five main things when you're looking for a yoga school. So the five main things to look out for when you're picking who to study with. And this is very important because many people are kind of out there in the limbo, like how am I gonna pick from all of the millions and billions of yoga schools out there? And what's gonna be the right pick for me? So I'm gonna mention these five things that are very essential when you're trying to pick the right school, when you're trying to be in a good direction. Um, these are the things that I would recommend you to look out for. Someday, some of y'all will shine. You're blowing up my mind, hey yo. Number one, facilitators, wherever you are in their website, you know, wherever, just look at the facilitating team or look at the main facilitator, the lead trainer, whatever, go and search how many years of experience they have. If they have 10 years, less than 10 years of experience, I probably would not recommend this for a school to be eligible to really give amazing trainings, in my experience, if they have less than 10 years, less than eight years, it's probably still a little bit ripe. If you want to learn from a good teacher, you need to learn from someone who's mastered an area. And if you, for someone to master something, you need at least 10 years of experience. This is what, they say, so in my school, Soha School of Healing Arts, we have at least um, 15 years of experience as the lowest of our framework. I've been teaching for 19 years. Some of my teachers have been teaching for more than 20 years. So we really take care of these little, you know, little details that can change a lot your experience of learning from someone who has the proper ex experience. Great, so that's number one. Number two would be go into their bios and check to see what their background is. And do the things you read connect to what you actually would love to learn. So look into where they come from, what's their, you know, tradition where what's the lineage that they're following who did they learn from what are the arts that they share you know it's like a heal is is this person a healer coming from the healing world is this person like from the ashtanga world is this person really good at hatha yoga is this person really good at mantras is this person trained to be an acupuncturist or an ayurvedic doctor like all of the main most experienced yoga teachers will have a really extensive background that you can actually connect to and tap with into as you choose a school you see and you read these things and you say yep this makes sense definitely yes 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 or no 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 not this one and also see you know if you connect well that's actually number three check the vibe <laughs> the vibe attracts your tribe so find them in you know on instagram social media like look at the pictures look at the gallery look at the offerings look at the vibe and if you're connecting to it if you feel some kind of like yeah i actually want to be in that space i want to share with these people for 20 days for 24 days because you these are going to be like part of your family for 24 20 days so make sure that the vibe that you get from you know whatever you see is calling that it feels good in your heart like when you 
when you check in with yourself, your heart is actually going forward. It's not going back, but it's actually like, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so that's number three, the vibe. Number four, um, I would check testimonials. Like there's always amazing schools that have amazing testimonials of people like you that have been through this and are like, scared of thinking that they're spending too much money spending when they're actually investing um or people that are like i don't know this school sounds amazing but it's just a lot of effort to travel to bali or whatever i don't even know i've never met them so things like this it, um are going to help you like okay i'm gonna read testimonials i'm gonna start relating because you'll find a lot of people having the same Like, I don't know if I have the time to do this. I don't know if I have the money to do this. I don't know if this is the right school for me. And then you read a testimonial and you're like, yes, that's exactly how I feel. Like at first I was scared because this was here and this was there and I wasn't sure. But then as soon as I did the training, oh my God, best gift I've done to myself, best decision of my life. It's transformed everything. Now I'm dedicated to be a coach and use the yoga tools or I'm helping people out by cooking and using the yoga teachings. Like you'll see all kinds of testimonials of like people that have used these teachings and these have blossomed into whatever they're doing in their daily lives. So definitely look for people, testimonials or people that are talking about this yoga school. Okay, that's number Four. <laughs> and then finally we're gonna come into um their content well i was gonna say location but i also want to mention content make sure that you like the content that they're putting out which is also the vibe you know um because many schools will have like a free class so find find a free class find a free little you know, something like, hey, this is a free breathwork. Hey, this is a free mandala vinyasa. Hey, and then you kind of take a class with them or meet them or meet them through YouTube or meet them through a Zoom class or meet them through, you know, whatever. Um, I'm sure if it's a good school and you ask for like, hey, can I have a free class so that I actually, you know, get to experience what you're offering. I'm, any good school will have a class for you and say, here you go. This is your free class please get acquainted with our work and it would be amazing to you know have you here so my school for example we offer always we have you know free classes given out free fascia class free metal class like we have all kinds of different free classes out there for people to click on and actually experience what we're offering and then be like yes full body yes or like Ugh. <laughs> so always try out a class to see how you feel And then last but not least, this is a bonus, this is number six, is location. So pick a location that is actually inspiring for you. Something that feels like you wouldn't go there. So my trainings, we give them in Bali, sometimes we give them in Europe, sometimes they're back in Mexico, and they're also online. So check to see which locations are calling you and if you're saying like yes i'd love to go to bali i'd love to experience this go and dive into it so that's the bonus little um step for you to choose the right school to feel a full yes to understand that the facilitators are well trained they're masters in their own you know arts there are infinite creators that the groups the students the people everyone's happy the content is attractive to you their bios are awesome so these are the things that i recommend hopefully this is helpful for you and if you did like it please click like subscribe i'll be sharing a lot more information on a lot of other things that people tend to ask me um, through the years thank you so very much and i hope to see you on the next one Um Mwah. Someday some of you will shine You're blowing up my mind